and welcome to Call Me Oz. Not so live tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Wednesday and it's always Call Me Oz live. But tonight, of course, is that very special trick-or-treating night. And uh, so anyways, uh, because uh, Larry, our videographer, and Patty, of course, they have a kid that needs to go trick-or-treating tonight. And, of course, um, I've got granddaughters that need to go trick-or-treating. So, we all just decided that we would kind of do the show tonight and record it and play it tonight for you all to watch it. So, I have a very special guest over here with me. This is uh, Mr. Alan Estrada from... How's it going, guys? Right. This is uh, with Rhythm... Rhythm Express. Rhythm Express. Uh, why don't you tell these people where they can find you at, Alan? You guys can find me at Leo's Nightclub from Mondays and Wednesdays, at Marisco's on Thursdays. I also have other uh, uh, venues at the, the Post American Legion um, on, on the weekends, on Friday. And of course, I do my side gigs on Saturdays, you know. So. Right. And that also means you're available to do... Weddings. Uh, just about anything, you know. <laughs> Any kind of party. Any kind of party, you yeah. know. If you need music and whatever you need, then of course you can always contact um, Alan. And I'm just going to speak personally for Alan, man. And I hear this a lot about your gigs. We love your sound. Oh, thanks. <laughs> love your sound. So, um, and that's not just for me. Like I said, that comes from a lot of people um, that I talk to. They love going to Leo's because they love the sound there. They love going to Marisco's because of the sound. Oh, it's 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 awesome. I I I love to please you know the. The uh, all the people that love to karaoke, you know, it's right. just it's just a thing, a knack for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, right. You're doing your job. Yeah, you're doing your job exactly. So uh, before we get into the meat of things, um, we're going to talk a little bit about where I was last week. I had a super busy week. It was a super crazy week. Um, it all started last Wednesday at the Sandbar. Uh, we did the singing win that night. Did you hear about this? The singing one, yes. Yes, yes. I heard about it. Um, it was phenomenal. I think we had 34 singers for the night, uh, so it was a great night. We had a lot of people. Um, we had some technical difficulties in the beginning, but I want to give a shout, a huge shout out to our karaoke community. Um, this is why I call us a family. Um, we got there, Amos's computer crashed. Oh, wow. Like, it wouldn't even start up bad. It was wow. that bad. Uh, so I made a phone call over here to Larry, and I'm like, hey, Larry, save my butt. Uh, Larry couldn't save my butt because he didn't have his hard drive. <laughs> uh, so he called our one of our associates, uh, Drastic, of course, and uh, to see if she could help out. Well, she was on her way to Isleta to do her gig, um, but it was because of her that we solved the problem because she said, hey, Camo has a hard drive in his gig down at Fiesta's. Right. And so it was like, get Camo on the phone, called a favor out of Camo. Camo, can you help us here? And he was like, yeah, of course. So um, he called yeah. them down at Fiesta's and told them I was on my way. And then five minutes later, I was at Fiesta's. I had the hard drive in my hand. Fortunately, that day, I just happened to have my computer in my car. Oh, wow. And since I had the the karaoke program well, on there, crazy, we, uh, we were able to get back to the sandbar and actually load up Karma and load up Camo's hard drive into Karma and only a 30 minute delay, believe it or not, in Aren't all you? of that. Mm -hmm. And by 8.30, we were up and running. Oh, that's awesome. It and just happened, you know? Okay. Yeah, and it, it just happens. And to have all the KJs and everybody involved that will help each other is, is just amazing. Um, so we had a great night. And meanwhile, while we were running the Karma on my computer, Amos was actually able to fix his computer in the meantime and jump and switch over to his computer um, while I was singing a song. So it, it I've was, been there, done that. I've done some crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff on the last minute, you know. It was or on forgetting, the fly. Try forgetting your hard drive at home. <laughs> and you're trying to do oh, a wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah forget your hard drive or, or forget your power cord. <laughs> yes, and you don't realize you didn't plug it in and when you try to find it, it's not there. You're like, oh. Yep. Who's, and, who's got a Dell? <laughs> <laughs> right? And you only have 50%. Uh, that's happened at the fair. Yes. That actually happened at the fair one time. It was like... Mm, just uh, cornflake stuff that, you know, that, that 
you know? Yeah, it just because it's like your everyday routine, so a lot of that stuff you don't think about. I'll you forget just... my head if it wasn't a taxi. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I get it. I get it. So then I was off Thursday, and then Friday, um, I went and saw Puddles at Lucky 66 Bowl. They were pretty awesome. And I finally was able to get Puddles his uh, medal oh, from wow. the state fair because he was the very first night, and we didn't have the medals that night. Oh. So I had to go back and see him. So he got his medal. He was pretty excited. No, oh, that's cool. You yeah. have how many? You got I, two I, medals. I have four. Oh, geez. I have four four medals throughout the, the whole time of the... But the you got two year. this last yeah, year. Yeah, two years this last year, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you were there because Leo's was a participating venue and Marisco's was a participating venue. So therefore, Alan got to be on the stage twice. Well, that was great. It was yeah. a great experience and it's getting only better. Only better. Yeah. It yeah, is. So. It's getting better. It's getting easier. It's getting smoother. It's just amazing. Um, so yeah, so from Leo or Lucky 66, I went to Fiestas and uh, hung out there for a while. They were actually doing their costume contest that night. So Oh, okay. There was a lot of awesome people and Amos walked in and uh, apparently Amos won. Oh, he Go won? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Amos wins them all. Like, that's just what Amos does. I kid you not. When it comes to Halloween time, um, Amos literally does this all the time. So Yeah, it's, I mean, I love Halloween too, but just sometimes I, just, I think I'm overgrown sometimes. You know? but, <laughs> right? You know, you know, a little bit. I don't, I don't go too overdramatic with it. But. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, let's see. I just wanted to double check on... Edgar here. Speaking of Edgar, it just made me remind me. So, um, so then I hit Fiestas and then I went to Billiards Palace. They had just finished their costume contest, so it was pretty epic. It was a pretty epic night. It's especially when Halloween lands like in the middle of the week. Yeah. You know, it, everyone's partying the week before, or even, you know, just all week. The, it's just Halloween don't end for a whole week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then. What comes after Halloween? I can never say it because I my Spanish isn't really good. Can you say it? Uh, the Day of the Dead. Basically. Oh, the Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, isn't that on Thursday? I think so. that's the Mexican holiday. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's on Thursday. So a lot of these places that are doing Thursday karaoke are actually s celebrating that. And yeah, so they're don't end, you know, kind of. So it just doesn't end. I mean, like Halloween kind of began last Friday. And now it's going on. <laughs> it's still going on. It's still tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Well, Red Velvet, speaking of, um, so I was at Red Velvet. Um, I'll be at Red Velvet tonight. Was I there last week? <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> I know. You're like everywhere. <laughs> oh, like I everywhere. <laughs> was at Red Velvet last Friday. That's right. Was it? No, it wasn't the magic show. Where was I last Friday? I thought I was actually there. Um, no, I guess not. I guess that was the only night I was out. It was last Wednesday and Thursday. So, any, um, no, Wednesday and Friday, that's right. Um, tonight, I will be at Red Velvet. Tonight you will. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I, 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 I like that. I'll sometimes myself all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you get to too many places. Yes. Yeah, so I just forget. So anyway, yeah. So I'll be at Red Velvet when uh, Tuesday night. I keep forgetting that we're recording this on Tuesday night and we're showing it on Wednesday night. That's my issue. Yeah. So tonight I'm at Red Velvet, and then I'm going to go see McLean, and then I am off to see Tommy Hurricane up at the Elks Lodge in Rio Rancho, and then I'm at Sidelines to see Country Joe, so. Well, it's a, it's a party, <laughs> for I sure. Yes. Yes, sir. For them. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's a lot of driving. Um, so then, uh, so this will be aired on uh, Halloween, and while everybody's trick-or-treating and doing their thing, I want to remind everybody of one thing, so uh, Halloween night being tonight that you're watching this, I will be trick-or-treating with my granddaughters, having a great time stealing all of their Reese's, their Reese's Pieces, <laughs> and their Rolos. Oh, hey now, Rolos my favorite too. <laughs> I love Rolos. <laughs> oh my God. They're amazing. They just melt in your mouth. And so I just want to tell everybody out there that if you really love me, you will go through all of your kids' Halloween candies 
and you will give me all the Reese's peanut butter cups, the Reese's <laughs> Good Reese's, luck with that one. <laughs> and <Awesome>. the Rolos. <laughs> you know, kids with candy, I mean, that's very serious. <laughs> it's very serious, yes. yes. But they should give up their Reese's peanut butter cups for me. I mean, they don't understand. They're pretty it's, smart. It's, you know, you know, not to bribe you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to bribe them. So I figure I need right about 730 of those items. That way I can just have two a day. Two a day. Two a day. I will be okay with two a day. I'll be content. I'm kind of bad too. I mean, like, I eat a lot of candy <laughs> a week. <laughs> Only Rolos and Reese's. That's really my, my weakness. Thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. Um, so next week, um, apparently I'm not going to be anywhere in Albuquerque. I just confirmed this on my way over here, as a matter of fact. Um, so next week I got to go to El Paso again. Um, I got to leave on Monday. I come back Friday night. And um, so I was supposed to be at Leo's on Wednesday, but I'm going to go back the following Wednesday. I will hit all those places. Um, so next week I'll be down in El Paso. While I'm down there, I will visit with uh, KJ, VJ, Frankie at the Briar Patch on Tuesday night because that's a really epic venue. It's epic place, huh? Yeah, so I'll stay up till uh, probably midnight and then I will have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to take my trainee out to meet all the chemical customers down there. Uh, which is um, a big deal. I mean, I used to do a lot of chemical business. Now I'm doing less and less and less and more of Call Me Oz. So. Yeah, I'm sure. All those KJs are very proud of you. <laughs> uh, so, no, I'm very proud you of you KJs because the way well, this you, works. It's, it's help each other out. You know, that's what it is. You know? so like, like you said, like a good family, karaoke family. and Right. You know, get to know everybody. And, of course, I'm always there for my fellow KJs also. They ever need anything. Right. Um, Right, you when it came to the state fair, you were awesome. I, I I can't. I'm gonna tell you guys. You have no idea how many times I came to Alan. Hey, Alan, you got this song? <laughs> like whatever, whatever. If I can help out, you know, I'm there. So. Yeah, yeah. And you had all mm -hmm. the songs, especially the Spanish songs. Oh, I got a I got a grip of Spanish. <laughs> that was a major. If you guys deal. like Spanish? Go visit my venues. <laughs> yeah, if you like to sing Spanish, I'm telling you right now, Leo's and Mariscos is without a doubt the place to go. And you know what? It's actually the opposite. You know, I have more Spanish singers at, at Leo's. Yeah. Than Mariscos, but I have a lot of country singers at Mariscos. Yeah, Mariscos, I yeah. know. That cracks me up every time I go into Mariscos. You're like, it's all like almost all of it is country. It's all, almost all of it. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a few Spanish singers. And yeah, then you a get few one rock, or two, you know. But, yeah. but Leo's, I mean, you'll get them. You'll get ten, ten to twelve yeah. Spanish singers easily. Easily, yeah. that's definitely the way it is at Leo's. Yeah, um, it's a fun night. Yeah, I love listening to Spanish music. I think it's awesome. So <laughs> make you drink a lot of tequila. <laughs> it does. It really does. Although I don't drink tequila anymore because right. I've had my days in right. Juarez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've had my days. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're going to show uh, a couple of spots on the website really quick here. Um, we have the website, of course, is callmeoz.net. Um, that's kind of why we're here. So I like to, the website is so huge that I like to show people uh, places in the website that they probably didn't know exist. Um, today's special feature is going to be something that you might say was way back in the day before Call Me Oz existed. Oh, wow. Um, I had, I used to sing out at my house in Edgewood, so I believe this all occurred about 15 years ago. Um, well, wait a minute. When did we get attacked? We got attacked in 2001. Mm, 2001, yeah. Right? So I would say, yeah, it was about 2005. Um, I would always sing karaoke in my karaoke room next door, and then this guy, my next door neighbor, would always come over and sing with me. This guy could sing Nirvana, like to the cool team. rock songs. <laughs> yeah, but he was only like 18, so he could never come to the bars with okay. me. And, uh, but we would sing together, we had a great time together, and the song War Pigs was pretty much my Classic signature song, song, still my signature song. <laughs> and what I did is I altered the, um, the lyrics. And I rewrote the song to a song called Bin Laden Crawled because that was Bin just <laughs> that was just the timing of it. And um, so you can get there by going to the main homepage, clicking on karaoke, which takes you to the karaoke homepage. And then you click on the complete index page, which takes you to all the pages on the website. So this is where every single page can be found. 
And then if you click right here where it says Bin Laden Crawled, it takes you over to that original page. Uh, so this is what the pages looked like back in the day. Um, and I didn't have a lot of stuff going on on the website back then, so I created this page. So what I did is I went to Fiestas and I sang the song there with Toby Rippick, as you can see him right there. And um, it was a huge event. Uh, so anyways, this, uh, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, if you click here, you can actually see the entire video of that night. The place was packed. We, we sent out flyers and all this stuff, and this was probably my first event that I ever really did. Um, there was a lot of veterans that showed up, so it was a pretty epic night. But oh, wow, it looks like fun. It was a lot of fun. And so if you listen, if you actually watch the video and listen to the lyrics on it, that's what we've done. We've altered, altered it, yeah. the lyrics to match Bin Laden <laughs> Crawl. So it's pretty epic. Um, so that is uh, what you can do. You can actually check that out sometime. Sure. So the other uh, page that I wanted to show you guys is something that's kind of a new page. So over here on the main homepage, if you click on Brew Houses, it'll take you to a page that we're in developing right now. We have our first sponsor of the page, Kilt Check Brewing Company is our first uh, sponsor for this page. So uh, we're on board with that. We hope to line up as many brew houses as we can. Of course, this is a big thing that's going on not only in Albuquerque, but nationwide nationwide wow yeah that's great you've seen a lot of brew houses pop it up oh they're everywhere <laughs> like every corner yeah you're like oh, that is when, when they build that you know right <laughs> i think they're going to take over starbucks soon mm -hmm. who needs coffee <laughs> we just need beer i need coffee i'm sorry i need coffee <laughs> stop coffee i'll be a miserable man <laughs> Well, you can mm -hmm. get your coffee at home easily. Nah, See, yeah, that's why they should turn them into brew houses, because you can't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this page will develop over time. Uh, we've got a few that we list as a courtesy listing, but um, in fact, I've been making a lot of sales calls on the brew houses, and I expect this to blow up here pretty fast, and there will be a lot of them on there. Exciting. Yeah, so there you go. That's your tutorial of the website. Did you know those pages existed? Yeah, I've I've gone through them. I've gone through them, but I just, you know, I, I there's some things I need to change in there as far as my, you know, profiles and stuff. Oh like yeah, the yeah. KJ show. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's is awesome. Your your your, your page is, is it's awesome. Thank you. You can do all kinds of stuff in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can spend all day on that website. I drastic used to say, "Welcome to Disneyland." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what she told me. Is she, it's like walking around Disneyland in that website. Oh, yeah. You can never see the same thing twice. And, oh, never, you know, like, never, never. Yeah. So, um, so that's about the website. I want to uh, talk a little bit about our events okay. that we have lined up. Um, the first event coming up is going to be on November the thirteenth. We have a very special guest rolling into town. Uh, his name is Anthony uh, McGee. He is the 2014 <laughs> Karaoke World Champion. Wow. Uh, he lives in Arkansas, and he is involved in what's called the Karaoke World Tour competition this year. Oh, so he has a team, I believe it's five other people, um, and they're going to be on their way to Las Vegas, so they have decided to stop in Albuquerque on Tuesday, November 13th. So we're going to take him to Red Velvet for dinner and oh, nice. comedy at six o'clock and then karaoke starts at seven and then we'll leave there at eight we'll go down to tractor wells park at eight and uh be there from eight thirty to nine thirty, and then from there we're going to see drastic at sidewinders okay. from 10 to 11. this is all on a tuesday all on a tuesday <laughs> and then from sidewinders we'll go to billiards palace from eleven thirty till one so it's going to be a, quite a that, night. That's a night. That is a night. Yes. And we're driving them so that they can enjoy as much as they want. So I'm going to drive that's half good. the team and Disco Nanny's going to drive the other half of the team. So we have oh, uh, nice. both of them. That's both. nice. Shoot. Yeah. Have a good time. Have have, have your DDs on the side there too. Yeah. So great. Yeah. great day. yeah. I'm going to have to notify the DJ, DJs ahead of time or KJs ahead of time. Okay. Yeah. This is what's happening. But we've got the, me and her will be their DDs. So they can drink all they want. They can have as much fun as they want. And then they get up the next morning and they drive to Vegas. 
Oh wow! <laughs> to 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 Nevada, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then um, now, I will let everybody know that on Tuesday we're going to pre-record an interview with Anthony, um, and then we're going to air it on Call Me Oz Live on the fourteenth. So everybody can make sure you tune in there to to hear more about it. Um, and then the following. Next thing that's coming up is the Call Me Oz birthday bash. Ooh, always epic, right? Yep. <laughs> Saturday, November 17th. So, do you work on Saturday nights? Mm, no, Saturday. well, it depends. It, it, I always grab them, you know, those are the reserved for, for, for party and stuff. But, you know, if I'm off, I'm off, you know. Okay. So, yeah. if you're off, you will be at the birthday bash. I sure will. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> and, and even if... Even if you work a gig and it's later at night, because this thing starts at four o'clock, nice. you can still come by. Yeah. So, I'll be there. If, if I got nothing going on, you know, I'll be there. Awesome. So, so sure. and I hope all of you will be there too. Yeah, for sure. You guys can celebrate with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of epic this year. Usually we do the birthday bash in October, uh, but two reasons we moved it to November. One, um, we did balloon fiesta in October. So there's no way we could have done it in October. And two, um, the original birthday of Oct uh, Call Me Oz is October 22nd, but the rebirth is November 6th. Oh, okay. So we just figured, fine, November. And, and one more reason, my birthday is the day after. So, hey, it all works out. <laughs> right. So November 17th is the night of the event. November 18th, my birthday is my recovery day. Um, cause yeah, I'll need to recover that. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I think we all need one of those. Days. <laughs> um, so the way it works is it starts at four o'clock. It goes till midnight from four to 10 will be karaoke, but every 45 minutes we stop the karaoke for entertainment. Um, so at four 45, we have magic at five 45 we have, and the magic is with Raul Lorenzani. And then at five 45, we have acoustic guitarist with, uh, Jackie Morphin. Okay. And then at uh, six forty-five, we do uh, the cake, and then my daughter is making it, and so is Dory. And then at seven forty-five, we have comedy, and then eight forty-five. Why am I missing something? I know I'm missing uh, comedy, acoustic guitarist. The dancers come on at nine forty-five, so. That's what it is. There's uh, two comedy acts in between there. And then the burlesque dancers come in at 9.45. Your burlesque dancers? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then from 10 to 12, we have Chris Raven in the Velvetones live. Oh, awesome. Uh, the event is 100% free. Uh, the event is also uh, family friendly. However, we do suggest you don't have your kids there during the comedy and the burlesque shows. I just mm, I can get it crazy. Yeah, it's pretty much G-rated until <laughs> the comedy starts, and then it's pretty much R. Whatever. Goes and then right. borderline X. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. Heads up. Um, Dory is going to run their cheese pizzas on special for ten bucks. So you guys can have pizza for ten bucks. Oh, that's awesome. Cheese pizza. They're stuffed with ricotta we don't like cheese. Pizza. <laughs> we all love pizza. Uh, she's also going to have some beer specials going on. Um, so we've got things going on. Um, the Carne Adovada Pizza, which is known as the Ozinator, is 18 bucks and well worth every penny of it. Wow. Uh, so, so that's what's going on on November 17th. And then on November 24th, which is the following Saturday, we are putting together, we're working in hand in hand with an organization called The Source. This is a business to business. Uh, networking event they're expecting about 500 people 500 wow and um, this is going to go from 6 to midnight and um, they will have uh, to be part of this you have to be a member of the organization to become a member if you own a business all you have to do is uh, get in contact and instead of paying a $500 membership fee what you actually do is you sell uh, 10 $50 raffle tickets to the event and the raffle ticket gets you in the event, covers all the entertainment, which is what we're in charge of, is getting the entertainment together. Um, but it also includes uh, your first drink free and appetizers, and then they have a cash bar. Oh, nice. But the biggest thing is you get to network with other businesses and become part of that community. 
and it's going to be a discount community so like if you're a member of that and you purchase advertising on call me Oz, you get 20 percent discounts wow. so like that's the way it works um so anyway, yeah, we have to book magicians and comedians and guitarists and all kinds of stuff for this event. So and that's what they call you Oz, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> I guess that's why they call me Oz. I guess that's the other reason. And then uh, we'll move on to the Twinkle Light Parade. After that, I'm going to be hunting down sponsors over the next two weeks. Uh, that's so a nice. That's a nice run too. It really is. Yeah. Have, have you I've, like I've, watched I've, it? I've, I've been on one. Representing the Legion one year, oh, this okay. was a few, over a decade ago, but but it was it was nice then, you know. Yeah, and it has grown. I'm like, sure it has. Man, it's crazy. Um, they estimate about twenty five thousand people watch this parade. Wow! So it is absolutely pretty epic. <laughs> huge, and it's all lit up. And um, so Michelle, who did our float for the fair, will also be doing our float for this. Um, so she's pretty awesome. She loves doing it. She has fun doing it. And her dad is awesome. He's always uh, provided the truck and the trailer. Oh, that's nice. Though. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's really cool. Uh, so we'll do Twinkle Light. Um, that usually happens the second weekend of December. I haven't even gotten the information yet, but I'll find out. Um, and then, of course, Red Velvet Underground every week. They have karaoke, comedy, live music. In fact, they are in their one-year celebration right now. So they actually have 30 bands playing between now and this coming weekend. 30 bands, wow. 30 bands, and they started on Saturday. So they have a total of 30 live bands. Uh, it's always great to hear a band too, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't mind, as long as it's a good band. Yeah, good band. yeah it has to be a good band. <laughs> of course, then I'm sitting there for about 30 minutes, and I'm like, so, oh, okay. can I sing a song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem with live music. It, yeah, it really is. yeah, you just kind of want to want to join in. <laughs> yeah, you want to join in and sing. So, um, so let's ask you a few questions. Sure. Uh, so, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Bernalillo, New Mexico. No, oh, that's not far away. It's not far. Yeah. <laughs> that's I a, have a lot of family that's there. So, yeah, of course. Um, not going to mention, we're not going to talk about age on the air, but um, Bernalillo, gosh, even 20 years ago was like way out there, right? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was, it was. <laughs> it's like, wow, we got to go to Bernalillo today. Or I remember driving in from Santa Fe as a kid to see yeah, my grandparents. Yeah, it, it seemed like for so, like so long. I yeah. remember we used to take, when we were kids, you know, we used to drive from because I did it in Los Lunas also. <laughs> so we, the, every weekend we'd go back to Bernalillo and it was it was like a day thing. And it was like, you know, back then, f fear was 55 miles an hour. I right. Mean, you know, so it took us an hour to get to there or two, an hour and a half, you know. Yep. With, you know. That's what I remember as a kid growing up out of Santa Fe. It was, you know, 55 miles an hour. And, you know, my dad was one of those drivers that went 52. <laughs> yeah. The whole way. <laughs> my mom always five, mi five miles underneath. Yeah. Like nowadays, it's like five, ten miles over, but back then it was five miles under. Oh yeah, and you know, and you're just sitting in the back seat as a kid, and you're going, oh, "This is like, are we there yet?" Oh, it was always like that. Yeah. You know, our kids are real antsy. You know, time time goes by really, really slow when you're a kid. Right. You know. And then we'd hit Bernalillo, and we'd be like, "Okay." We're almost there. Another yeah. thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it like growing up in Bernalillo? Because back then we, it was a small, we, tiny simple, town. Simple. We used to simple. We had curfew. We had the curfew siren that we used to ring at ten o'clock at night, and that was you know when when the street lights came on. It's when you went inside. Wow. And nobody really locked their doors. It was everybody knew each other. You know, it was half, half the towns related. You know, so <laughs> so it's. That's the way it was, you know, and I had a great childhood and it was, it was nice to grow up there. Wow. Yeah, man, that's just crazy. So tell us about your family. My family, I have, I have, um, I read it, I read it, right as he wants to. <laughs> I have four brothers and three sisters. Wow, big family. <laughs> Jeez. I think. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, after four, well, I there, would probably lose count. No, too. well, you know, you know, I have, I have a lot of family. I I just have my mom left and then my siblings, you know. Yeah. But um, it's, it's huge. It's a huge family. <laughs> That's big. Do they all still live around no, here? No, I have a, I have a, um, 
I have a couple of siblings that live here in town. I have one that's living, uh, that's helping my mom out back at home mm -hmm. where she lives in San Luis. And so <laughs> she lives there. And then, you know, of course I live here too, you know, and then I have another sister that lives in Las Vegas. So in New Mexico, no, Nevada, Nevada. So, yeah. She comes here every now and then and visits me and, you know, wow, it's, it's fun. Wow. So your mom was at the fair, right? She was at the fair. Yes. Yeah. She was the one sitting in the front row, just watching her. She didn't want to be part of anybody. She just, she wanted to see the singers, you know, so she yeah. was all into the singers. Right. So it was, it was, she had a really nice time. She, she liked it. Oh yeah, she did. Yeah. She really she liked herself. the singers. She, she was into, uh, um, uh, uh, Ellie, uh, Millie. Oh, Millie. Millie. She, yes. oh, Millie tore it up and my mom was sitting there front row. With her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, she really enjoyed her, her, her voice too. And, and of course, all the other singers too, you know. Right, right. So it was fun. So, uh, what is the history of Rhythm Express? I mean, how did you even get started it, in all it this? It fell on my lap one day because, you know, I used to bartend at a local bar in Bernalillo called Reno's Midnight Magic. Mm hmm. You know, it's no longer existence anymore, but um, I think I remember that. Um, I worked there and, you know, my boss was selling his equipment one day and I just bought it, you know, well, you know, had a cousin invested in me with it and we bought his system and, you know, and he gave me, he got a copy of some music and that was it. That's how I started off. I did my first little graduation. Then it just started like that. And then, wow. and then karaoke didn't, didn't come up until about, I'd say about 2008, mm -hmm. you know, and I just started, I just switched because, you know, DJ sometimes uh, it's a uh, seasonal yeah. and, you know, you know, I was just tr trying to hustle, you know, so um, mm -hmm. I switched it over and just did a decision to do that and, and it started working out great and now, now, now I'm on Oz show here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and you're right. I mean, like DJ, so it's great. If, you know? if all you do is DJ, it's very seasonal. Mm -hmm. um, there's the wedding season, there's kind of the Christmas season, there's kind of the graduation season, um, you know, and so you really got these ups and downs unless you have a consistent gig. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, I worked for our place too, uh, for wow, that ten, was way for back about 10 day. years, <laughs> for about 10 years, you know, and then, and then I started with the legions and, you know, and now I'm just everywhere. Yeah. It seems like, you know, yeah. So it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm happy for for what it's for what it's become, you know. Yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. you remember, I was at the '66 bowling alley when he, he, this guy first met me. <laughs> That's actually that is actually where I first met Alan. Yeah. Was at Lucky '66 Bowl, and you were there for a while. I was there for about three years. Yeah, it was a while, for and then years, uh, yeah. you were getting ready to leave, and I think you were going to have your nephew Adam. I think. Was yeah, there was Adam Valencia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was going to uh, do that. And then, um, and then uh, he he lasted for a little while, and then they just went they they, the they just they changed it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Things change, you know. But uh, uh, I was happy to be there, and then I I just moved on to different things, you know. And now it's become what it's become, and, and you know, and I'm happy for my gigs, you know. Yep. Hey, guess what? We got somebody calling in oh. here. It's uh. Hello, you are uh, on Call Me Oz. What's up, Edgar? <laughs> You are on Call Me Oz hey, there, Edgar. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm going to turn you up. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Okay, good, good. Well, we want to thank you for calling in. So everybody out there, um, this is Edgar. He is the owner of Marisco Saltamar in Los Lunas. Amazing guy. We have Alan with us at the same time, Edgar. Hey, what's up, Edgar? How are you? Nice. Hi, am. So, uh... Yeah, we just want uh, we just wanted you to call in and tell people about a uh, little bit about Mariscos and what they can expect at Mariscos on a regular basis. Nice. Yeah. No. I uh, definitely would you know like to invite everybody down to Mariscos if they haven't been there already. Yeah. Um, out in uh, Los Lunes, of course. Uh, so we've been there for about uh, five years now. Uh, we've been doing karaoke for about uh, I think four of those years. Um, started it with the intention of, you know, bringing in the crowd and, and then hopefully, you know, uh, having a busy night. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, it's played, it's played out well for us, you know, ever since we started linking up with uh, you and, you know, helping us, you know, bring in a crowd. And I think now it's, it's been established and, and now it's been a, a, one of our most, you know, successful nights for the week. 
It is. It really is. I mean, every time that I hit Mariscos, I, I, I cannot say that I've ever been there on a slow karaoke night. It is always packed in there, and uh, man, your service is phenomenal. Um, I don't know how you... I don't know how you pick your servers, and I don't know how you train them, but whatever you're doing, just keep doing it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. No, yeah, you know, it's uh, definitely an overwhelming night, you know, but uh, we just got to go in thinking, um, you know, everybody's there to have a good time, and uh, I think that that crosses over to our staff. You know, I think they enjoy working right uh, there because, you know, it's a good laid-back atmosphere, and, uh, you know, I think that they, they view it as, you know, taking care of, you know, friends and family, opposed to you know treating it as work. And it's just a great place to be. That, that place, way. you know. Yeah, exactly. It. It's all like a family atmosphere there, totally. And uh, your food is amazing. And um, now, but you don't just do karaoke on Thursday, right? What else do you guys do for entertainment? So for entertainment, uh, Thursday usually kicks it off for us for the week. Uh, but Thursday, Thursday night we'll do karaoke. And on Friday, we have live music uh, with the trio. Uh, that's the trio Los Amigos out of Albuquerque. Oh, nice. They play Friday night. Wow. And, um, and, the, and then the weekends, you know, we obviously have, just, we treat our, our bars as sports bar as well with a lot of TV. So, you know, any games that are on, on TV, and we do have the NFL Sunday ticket, you know, right. we, we gladly show all games. And, uh, you know, we, we, like, we like to invite everybody down here to try, you know, good food, good drinks out at our bar. Exactly, and um, you start your karaoke at 6 o'clock, so it's an early night for karaoke, which is awesome. It is. Uh, you know, it ends uh, right around 10 o'clock, and uh, you know, during patio season, which is you know, coming to an end now, uh, we will end up moving karaoke back uh, indoors, but uh, we, we enjoy a good you know, six, eight months outside of the patio, and uh, you can be there yourself. I mean, it's a great time. Yeah, and we also, I believe he's also getting some renovations in there too, so it's be a, a different kind of setting in there pretty soon, right? Right. We're actually, we're in the middle of trying to winterize the, the patio year round, actually, somewhere we could have, you know, patio outside of the patio. Yeah, that's my favorite place to be, actually. In February, so that's, yeah. Everybody's looking really forward to that, it's going to be included. Yeah, if you could do year round patio karaoke, that is epic. Yeah. And, and he knows, he knows I'm out there shivering sometimes, but <laughs> and, <laughs> I just love to be out there. It's, it's just a great atmosphere. I, like I, I just get dressed prepared. You know, I put the long johns yeah. <laughs> on and I put the, the collar neck under, I put the turtleneck under my shirt and I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I am definitely good. Well, we definitely appreciate you calling in, Edgar. We appreciate your support of Call Me Oz. You are awesome. You have always been there for us. And, um, we, we definitely appreciate it, and you run a great establishment. Uh, your dad is just amazing, for those of you who don't know. I yeah, actually he's go, a great guy. He's a really yeah, great guy. Hector I actually go back really guy, very yeah. far with Hector, uh, way back to the days that I worked at Zanio's Foods. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a small world, and it's a great world, and we appreciate everything you do, Edgar. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, I appreciate everything you've helped with you know, the restaurant and myself with building out karaoke and uh, you know we're like I said we're here to invite everybody down to yes. Los and uh, we'll take care of you guys every time most definitely we'll talk to you soon see you Thursday adios we'll see you soon alright All right, bye bye later buddy thank you well, that was definitely awesome to have a chit chat with Edgar. Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool cat. Yeah, he's, he's a really, really, cool. really nice guy. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, you go just like we talked about. You go down to Mariscos, and it's a good time every time. It's sometimes it overwhelms me sometimes, but <laughs> but but you know, it's it's always a challenge, you know, and especially with a big crowd. You know, I can get up to thirty thirty five singers. Yeah, and you're lucky if you get one song in there to sing. Right. You know, and. It gets that crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but crazy. it's a, it's really a great place. Yeah, I wonder. So we so Edgar called in. I wonder if we could call Leo. Call him. Let's see if we can get Leo Let's on see. the phone. Now, Leo, for you guys don't know, Leo is very hard to get a hold of. Yes, <laughs> he is like so busy, and um, but he just lives there. <laughs> he, he he literally lives there. Yeah, he, he's always there. Um, 
Yeah, there he is. That's his phone number. Let's see if he'll actually answer his phone. That becomes the question. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can now. Well, okay. Let's try a different number. No. Nope. Try the bar. Maybe try the bar, huh? Yeah. Let's see if they'll answer at the bar. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Good luck on that one. Let's see. Do do do. Phone is ringing. Phone is ringing. Phone is ringing. <laughs> so I was there today, and their dog bit me. Oh, the, he's got a new puppy, yeah. <laughs> She didn't really bite me. She was just playing. Hello, we are not available and look, now. They're not available to answer their phone. Well, maybe he'll call us. <laughs> maybe he will call us. It's just weird that his phone didn't go. That his cell phone didn't. Go. That's just weird, weird. And I'll. S no, that's his bar number. I have him listed in here five times. So I wonder what number that is. <laughs> I don't even have an all I have is the bar number. <laughs> so No. I don't even know. Hello? Hello, is this Leo? Hello, happy. Is this Leo? Hey. Hey. Hey, Leo. What's up, Leo? <laughs> I can hear you. Hey, hey, hey. It's Oz and me? Alan. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? We're good. doing good. So you are on uh, Call Me Oz Not So Live at the very moment. Oh, yes, Finally. Well, because we're recording the show today for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so everybody out there, we've got Leo, uh, the owner of Leo's Bar on the phone with us and uh, this is the day before Halloween. What are you doing on Halloween night over there, Leo? In Hollywood, uh, Halloween night we have contests. The first prize is 150, second prize is 100. What? And third prize is 50 bucks. What? Yep, he's giving away some prizes, 150, guys. 150, 150. Wow, I didn't even know that. Like, this is the first time I've heard of this, so. So you have a costume contest going on, and you're giving away a total of 300 bucks. Right. Wow. And you're doing karaoke at the same time? Yep. Karaoke. Yes, with the famous... DJ Allen. Famous Allen. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So uh, what do you want to tell everybody out there about Leo's Nightclub? Do we have drink specials that night, and also stop by. we got excellent DJ Allen. So we put your music you want, Spanish, English... And actual Korean too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Japanese too. Okay. You want? <laughs> Japanese too. Guy. I mean, it was a Japanese guy singing Japanese music. So you're more than welcome to stop by here. At Leo's have a fun. Uh, you never know. You might find your better half here at Leo's and get married, have kids. Oh yeah. sure. <laughs> and, and you might even win enough money to buy a, a ring, huh? There you go. <laughs> there you go. You go to Mexico and buy your ring and you'll be fine. <laughs> there you go. And then you get married. Yeah. And then you get married. Okay. So you, when do you do karaoke at Leo's? We do Mondays and Wednesdays. At what it time do you 6 start? 6 p.m. till 6 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. Wow. So early start and you go until midnight. As long as you have people there singing and, and having a good time, right? Correct. I mean, if it's... You know, if they wanna, they wanna go home early, we can go home early. Yeah. If they wanna go home late, just yes, buying, buying some drinks to DJ Allen. He willing to stay till two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, did we, didn't we do that to him on, on the night of the audition? Didn't we stay there till like, yes. hour late or something? Because like nobody really? wanted to leave. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is a good time. DJ it. Allen has to take the Uber that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you took the Uber that night? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, man. So, uh, now what else do you do throughout the week and on the weekends, Leo? You got all kinds of stuff going on at Leo's Nightclub. Right? Yeah, it we have uh, just... Monday Carrier. Yeah, Tuesday we have Sammy D and Desert Rain. It's country, old school R&B. Oh, and wow. a good band come and see it and uh, we have Wednesday we have karaoke again Thursday we have rock rock uh, music wow uh, with elect electric electric explosion he's gonna play he plays rock so you can stop by here and we have the radio station I think 
think it's Coyote, one o one o two point something. Yeah. Right. The right. Coyote and then we have we have Friday the happy hour, also we have live music with Sammy D country music, so you can and then if you wanna say a little bit late, we have Mexican music and also we have Saturday we have uh, old school and R and B early and then also turns to a Mexican music in the evening and Sunday we have Sammy D again. The famous MD from New Mexico playing rancheras, New Mexico music, and also cumbias. Oh, he's a great band. They're a great band. Jeez. I had Excellent no idea band. you have that much stuff going on. Oh, yeah. I it's, mean, I knew yeah. you had a lot of stuff going on, but I didn't know you had that much going on, Leo. Yeah. Uh, everybody. Everybody having a good time here, Leo. That is crazy. So it is a good time seven mm -hmm. nights a week. Like, wow. And you have rock music. <laughs> it's a mixture of everything. I mean, he can accommodate to any kind of crowd, you know. Yeah. You know, it's just the right time. You go in the right time, and you you find what you're looking for. You know, the great uh, great great specials are there. It's a it's a nice place to be. You know, it, it I have a lot of fun there too. You know, so. I love doing karaoke there. It is, it is just so epic. And um, yeah, so karaoke is fun here. So now, like if it. somebody wanted to know, like, what bands or what nights, how do they find this information yeah. out? Also, they can find it in Leo's Nightclub. Okay. Just give us a like, and we'll send you every, every time we have it. You can post it. It comes on your, in your, Feel, in your Facebook every time we – yes, go to Leo's Nightclub and give Leo's. it a like. We okay. also can – we're going to have a, a concert on November 17th, Delphonics. The it's Delphonics. a whole school – that the phonics is going to be here. It's wow. an early show. It starts at 5 o'clock and it's at 8 o'clock. Wow. It's all these bad goodies. Yeah, wow. that's, that's awesome. The Delphonics classic. That is classic, awesome. Yeah. That's Gold the same Gold. night as my birthday bash, but that's okay. There you go. Stop buying it. Yeah, we're, well, we're, we're running from 4 to midnight, so anybody that wants to do both events, they can, they can, stop they can do <laughs> both events. No problem. Is there any cover charge for that? Yes, it is a cover charge of fifteen bucks. Okay. And the Defonics is, uh, you know, it's old school. People know them. It's oh, one they're of the classic. Songs. Everybody what knows you, the what Defonics. Why don't you sing one of the songs, Alan? Oh no! I can't. <laughs> no, 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 don't put me on the spot, Leo. <laughs> no, no, Leo, no. why don't you sing one of the songs? Real quick? No, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 they say the Delphonics la 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 means I love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I think I've heard of that, them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've heard of them now that I think now that I think about it. Yeah. So stop by, come and see us, please, and let everybody know that we keep open seven days a week, 13 hours every day. Nice. So we hours. also have package in case you want for your holidays. We got the Crown Royal, eighteen ninety nine, dollars $750. And we also have Tito's for twenty nine ninety nine. dollars also Patron. So when you're throwing a party or you're doing a big old party and you need a lot of beer or cakes, come and talk to me. All right. <laughs> <Leo's is laughs> you go, place, bro. Man. And it's very conveniently located at 12th and Candelaria. 12th and Candelaria. Yep. Right in the corner, the right heart in. of the North Valley. It is. The heart. <laughs> it is. The heart it of is. North Valley. And it is three minutes from I-40 because I counted it today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, hey, good to talk to you, Leo. It was great to have you on Thank the show, you. buddy. And uh, I will you. see Appreciate you soon. It. All right, Leo. I'll see, see you tomorrow, buddy. See, see you, buddy. Take right. care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> he is such an epic guy. Oh, he's, he's, he gets pretty corny. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, another. We, we love Leo. He's cool. Yeah. He's another guy that I've done business with forever. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, I started doing chemical business with him like 10 years ago. Wow. And then from there, it evolved into the whole karaoke thing. I am actually the one that got Boop karaoke in there eons ago, believe it or not. Oh, oh, wow. Back when Mary at Boop first started oh. doing, that's when he first started doing karaoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, all that happened and everything. And then uh, he had a few other KJs come and go. Yeah. Um, and then you showed up and you stuck. You're like glue. Oh, I'm not glue. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I just, I just, I, I always aim to please, please. And then I just try to try, you know, if yeah. you like everybody out there, if you try hard enough, you can do anything you, you want to do, you know, if you can. Exactly. You know, exactly. But I effort, you know. So before Edgar talked, called in, we were talking about um, how rhythm started. Mm -hmm. And then uh, where do you expect to see rhythm go from here? Shh. 
hopefully branch out into, you know, so maybe we get me some more KJs out there, you know, and get uh, other venues and do, do other things, you know. Yeah. Um, even even wedding wedding planning or, or doing anything like that, mm. you know. This is this is an open range, you know. But I'm always looking to op- to to always look walk forward, you know, and, and try yeah. to just you know climb a ladder if I could, you know. Yeah. So exactly. it's but it's it's good, and I'm happy the way it's going, you know. It's a, if it's going slow, you know, but um, I'm happy, like I say, you know. It's yeah, not much to it. You know, and the, and talk about being happy with your passion. Um, that's kind of where I am too. I mean, yeah, you know, with the chemical company. I mean, when I retired, I was making a ton of money. Wow, like, I was making a lot of money, and um, but I missed doing this so much that I went ahead and gave it up. And I hope that, you know, the plan is, is that call me off. You are growing so much, will... so much that I've seen, you know, in the, in the past, even the past year has just gone crazy, you know, with, yeah, with, yeah. with the odds, you know, and I'm like, yeah, it's exciting. It really is. It means more, it, it gets us KJs excited for right. things that are happening and, you know, and a lot of us couldn't do it without you. So well, thank you. So I appreciate that, you know, you know, for myself, it's, it wouldn't, if I went for him, I wouldn't be at Marisco's, you know, so. Yeah, and that's what we try to do. Helps out, you know. Yeah, yes. we just we try to keep all of you KJs busy, and and that is actually what I do on a daily basis when it's during the daytime. You know, no, I'm not sleeping. I am working. Um, that's actually when I make all this happen. And what was awesome was like last week doing the sponsor show. We had gone from like 12 sponsors to 52 sponsors in a year. Wow. So. Um, you know, to see that kind of growth is amazing and to see more and more cages. Like when I first came back, I could not believe how dead the karaoke world actually was. Like a lot of KJs only had one or two gigs and mm-hmm. it was slow. It was and getting slow. It's it's become something way different than what it was expected. You know, like, you know, just like because uh, cage, you know, karaoke back when I was at our place, you know, and it was popping over there, too. And when when, uh, when uh, Tommy Hurricane was there, too, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was, you know, but it was not as not as much as it is now. You know, it's just it's blown up everywhere. Everyone has karaoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? I know. All of a sudden, it came back. And yeah, like, and hopefully that's a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing as long as we have the singers out there, and, and that that's another end of Call Me Oz that people may not realize. We every day we do stuff to get more people out of their houses and yeah. into the bars to sing karaoke um, because. We could have 50,000 KJs out there with gigs, but if we don't have enough singers, eventually they're going to lose their jobs. Right. So what um, we have to do is keep singers rolling in. And that, that's I'm another just getting thing better every year. So, you know. Yeah. So we do different. We do, uh, you know, state fair and all that stuff. That's why we do it, is to get more. And, and that's become a great thing, and it, it really has. Yeah. So um, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I know you all have enjoyed your trick or treating or enjoyed trick or treating knock trick or treaters knocking at your door tonight, whichever place you're in. Beggars night, isn't it? Called Beggars Night. Beggars Night. <laughs> they call it Beggars Night where you go, you know my dad used to believe in that. He goes, No, I used to go buy, go buy candy. But you'll get trick or treaters. And I'm like, we're not gonna get you this beggars night. I'm like, What is beggars <laughs> night? <laughs> it's like 'cause they you know, they want the candy before the actual day. But... I, I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um so hopefully you all enjoyed whatever you did here on Halloween night and yes. safe and all that good stuff. And um, it, it, and speaking of Halloween and ghosts and good stuff, do you know why ghosts are so bad at lying? <laughs> no. Because you can see right through them. Oh, man. see. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it's what it is. I mean, spades is spade, I guess. <laughs> Well, y'all have a great night. Y'all yes. have a great week. Thanks One for joining us, guys. Next Wednesday, um, my live show will not be of this great, uh, amazing world because I have to go to El Paso. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way where I'm going to put my phone in front of us. And then you all will greatly appreciate Double L Media that much more because I know I do. And if you need any kind of video work done... This is, without a doubt, the guy. Yes, Larry. Right here. <laughs> so, thank you all. You yes. have a great week. Appreciate we'll see it. see you very soon. Take care, guys.